Hello, good day, guys. Um, welcome to Prophetic Intercessions Network. Um, my name is Michael, and um, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you um my experience of how I prayed in tongues or deeds. So, um, if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button down below and make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you can get our latest uploads. Thank you. All right, back to business. All right. Um, my first experience of praying in tongues for days, I mean days, not hours, I mean days for praying in tongues for days was in 2019, yes, 2019 precisely. And I remember um, that was um, 2019, that should be during um, October, yes, it was in October. It was a month of my birthday then. And um, that was when I, um, how would I put it, that was when I broke free I just got liberated from religion. The Lord just um, introduced me to an atmosphere. So I remember after attending the meeting um, over and over and again, um, going to meeting, see fellow believers praying, um, fellowshipping and all that. Um, I think that thing had a way of influencing me. You know, I grew up in a church and um, in a church setting whereby all we know how to do is to pray that your enemy will fall down and die um warfare prayers are down the prayer does not last long maybe after pray in jesus name we have prayed and we don't pray in tongues we pray in our understanding so for you to know how ethic it was so for a teenager like let me just say a young boy like me then it was so boring so boring until god brought me into an atmosphere where i saw fellow believers praying praying in the spirit praying in tongues I begin to see the realities of everything that was in the scriptures, how the apostles would gather and pray daily. So I began to see everything playing and I was like, wow, 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 God this is amazing. This is a place for me to be. So after staying in the atmosphere for months, and um, I remember there was a certain meeting we had. Yes, that was in 2019. There was a, there was a particular meeting we had in our, um, in our church. And the name of my church is Omega Vision Christian Network. For those of you that are wondering that the church does this guy attend, I attend Omega Vision Christian Network. And I remember there was a service, a midweek service we had. That service, the man of God came up. Before the man of God came up, let me let me just see what happened. Before the man of God came up, there was there was such a there was such a heavy cloud in the atmosphere every presence of god in the atmosphere and i remember that day i was just praying in tongue praying in tongue praying in tongue while everything was going on while the worship was going on i was praying in tongue praying in tongue praying in tongue until the man of god came up there was a, there was a woman that led worship that day she led a particular worship i still remember it. um oceans by you song um i will call upon your name and said and i will call upon your name I lift my eyes above the storm where no visions rise. My soul will trust in you. So after she led that powerful worship session, the power of God came upon her while she was singing. They had to carry her. So I was in the meeting. I was praying. I was praying. I was praying. So why the man of God came up? He just made one decree. He said he, he, he saw like a window open in the atmosphere. And while he said that, it was boom. The atmosphere, everything changed. All the hanging impartations that have been in the atmosphere since the beginning of the meeting, everything began, began to drop. Like there was such a radical manifestation. People were screaming at the power of God. People were falling down. Like I was like, Jesus, what is this? Everywhere was so rowdy. You could feel the tangible presence of God in the atmosphere. And that day, all I was just doing was praying, Lord, feel me. Lord, my heart was open. My heart was open. My heart was open in such a way that you could not imagine. I remember that, that, that day, we closed the meeting late. I had to go home sober. Sober in the sense that I was so overwhelmed with the presence of God. And I remember when I got home that night, all I could do was to go and kneel down and say, God, strengthen me. God, strengthen me. My bones were literally rattling, like my bones were shaking. I didn't know that the meeting did not end. And this is why I tell people, whenever you attend spiritual meeting, the meeting did not start when you got there. No. 
and the meeting will not end when you leave there. No. Whenever you attend a spiritual gathering of believers where the Holy Ghost is there, the scripture says you are come unto Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, to the heavenly Jerusalem, to the innumerable companies of angels, where the spirit of just men are made perfect. So when you come to an atmosphere, you don't start the meeting. There is a meeting going on in heaven already. And what you are doing is to join the meeting. Your will be done on earth as it, as it is where in heaven. So in a church gathering, in a spiritual meeting, we don't start meeting. That terminology is wrong. We only join the procession of the meeting that is going on in heaven. So that day, the meeting did not end. I thought physically because of the limitation of time, you know, they have to close, everybody have to go to their parents' house and everything. But the, the meeting never ended. The atmosphere still continued. So I remember that night after I slept, I still saw myself back in the meeting. That night after I left the atmosphere, I saw myself in the same meeting I left. I was praying. I saw myself. The, the vision was so clear. Throughout the night, I was seeing myself in the meeting. Different encounters throughout the night. It was then I knew that meeting don't end and meeting don't begin. Meeting continues. So you can go to a meeting in January and there is a deposit of God upon your life. And in February, you are still having encounters of the same meeting. Why? Because you don't start service and you don't end it. So what we did that day was to join the procession. And the procession did not finish by 8 o'clock. It continued. Throughout that night, I was seeing myself in the meeting. I could remember I was teaching in a school and I was teaching in a um, in a school then. While I woke up the next day, took my bed, I was praying in tongue. You understand? You understand me? I was praying in tongue. This has never happened to me. That was in 2019. I was praying in tongue in the in the restroom while I was beating. I was just praying in tongue. My my, my body was still shaking. I, I could see feel the presence. I was just my mouth was just mumbling words. I was just praying. I was praying. While I got to work that day, I was praying. I prayed throughout. Ah, oh, Jesus, I, I can still remember it very clearly. While I got home that evening, I could remember throughout that week, I could not eat. I was fasting. The only time I could eat was around 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock. I was fasting and I was praying. So I see there was, there, was, there was a garment that was worn upon me. And that was as a result of the atmosphere. The tangible presence of God rested. And I could not eat. It was then I realized what Moses said. When Moses went to God upon the mountain, and the scripture says for 40 days and 40 nights, Moses could not eat anything because the Shekinah of God, the glory of God, was tabernacling upon Moses. So when that glory is there, nothing is impossible. You can go for days literally without food. This is true. When the glory of God comes upon a man, it has the ability to nourish, to nourish and vitalize your mortal body. That's why the scripture says in the book of Roman 8, if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, that same paraclete will quicken your mortal bodies. So when the glory of God is upon you, when you have the Holy Ghost inside of you and it's teared up and there is an anointing upon you, you can go for days without food and you will not feel it because that glory has the ability to sustain your body. So I remember throughout that week I was praying, I was praying. It was on Saturday. I remember it was like a Saturday that I could regain myself back. I could eat normal, do the normal thing I could do, but I prayed straight. So there are many people who want to pray in tongues for days, but are not aided by spirit. Life is spiritual. Everything you are seeing in the Christian love is spiritual. So you cannot do it by the strength of the flesh. The scripture says, by strength shall no man prevail. So if it is by strength, you can't ascend, you can't go far, you can't travel far. So the, you have to be assisted, you have to be energized, you have to be aided by a spirit that is bigger than you. So if you want to pray in tongues for days, you want the Holy Ghost to strengthen you, to pray stretch. One of the things that we implore you to do is to get an atmosphere. This thing I'm saying cannot be overemphasized. Is to get an atmosphere. There are many things your personal anointing, your personal fellowship with God cannot bring to you. But when you get to a corporate gathering, a corporate atmosphere, that atmosphere has the ability to push you further in God. It has the ability to strengthen you, to charge you, to give you speed in ascension. 
so on a normal day you are supposed to ascend let's just say you want to you want to you want to um you want to get your spiritual clear you want to get your spiritual antenna to be clear you want spiritual clarity you want to be able to pick words from the spirit you want your your prophetic ability to be sharpened most time on a personal day you may have to pray for four hours three hours just for the distraction in your soul to be cleared away a lot of things to be put in place but when it comes to a corporate atmosphere all you need to do is to enter the atmosphere and when you enter the atmosphere there's something we call corporate anointing the corporate anointing is made up of the atmosphere of individuals so there are many people who are in the atmosphere who are met let's say for example many of them are 50 percent some are 30 percent some are 10 percent some are five some are some are one so let's say you are one percent one percent and you enter into that kind of atmosphere what that atmosphere will do to you is that it will it will it will it will network you with the other atmosphere that are here and it will boost you yes it will boost you it will boost you it will boost you so when it comes to loving jesus when it comes to praying in tongue for stretch one of the things that you need to get first is the corporate atmosphere and when you get that corporate atmosphere you'll be energized your power bank will be filled so that when you go back to your home you will not be strengthened to travel more so there are many people who are struggling to pray i want to pray for 12 hours i want to pray, pray for 24 hours all those things all those prayers are not necessary just find an atmosphere find an atmosphere when you find an atmosphere that that the holy ghost is present the scripture says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty and we all with an unveiled face building as in a mirror the glory of the lord say so we are changed from the same image from what glory to glory so when you want to pray in tongues for 24 hours look for an atmosphere where they are praying in tongues for long join them join the procession when you join the atmosphere and you help them to pray one of the things that it will do to you is that it will enlarge your spiritual capacity your spiritual force field will be enlarged so when you go back to your home you'll be able to pray more do you understand all these things are practical steps all this prayer god strengthen me and there are many of you that you have been trying to pray for long you want to pray for 12 hours on your own and by the time you start by the time you start praying it will be like two hours or one and a half hour you already slept off the solution is an atmosphere find brethren who are of this who are like-minded yes find them when you find them start up an atmosphere when you start start up an atmosphere worship praise god the scripture says do not be drunken with wine but be filled with the holy ghost speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs making melodies in your heart unto god you may to begin to do that you are generating and you are creating an atmosphere and you may to do that the holy ghost will be present to strengthen you to pray this is why you hear ministers of the gospel sing songs like this i cannot pray by myself i cannot worship by myself you are the spirit that strengthens me you are the spirit that enables me you are the spirit that raised jesus from the dead oh now you dwell inside of me oh oh quicken me to pray quicken me to study quicken me to fast holy ghost holy ghost you are the spirit that enables me you are the spirit that raised jesus from the dead oh now you dwell inside of me so those songs are revelations that the power of the flesh will fail man again and again so to avoid all these traumas depend on the holy ghost find an atmosphere and when you do that you'll be able to pray in tongues just as i did for days you, you, the, 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 the presence of god will be so manifest upon your life that you'll be able to travel find the spirit and cover mice and cover space cover time take things that belong to you in destiny and 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 be able to legislate the counsel of god over your territory over your home and over your family hello good day guys my name is taufik michael Ebziba, and this is prophetic intercession channel welcome to our channel guys we love you so please make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you can get our latest and weekly prophetic intercession clip so please make sure you subscribe make sure you share to your loved ones the lord bless you we love you we love you we love you we love you god bless you guys we love you glory
even when I am gone and I'm no longer 